Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me for this prayerful pause with the pastor. This is early on a Saturday morning and it's not very bright out yet so I don't know how the light's going to be for this but oh well I think you can see me well enough. I want to talk today about my fairly new flashlight. Yes it's an LED flashlight which just means it should last longer, I think. It does give you a brighter light. But I was thinking about it in terms of the Spirit leading me in my life. You know, it doesn't do me any good if I don't turn it on, if I don't connect with it, if I don't use it. So all of those, all these religious things, <laughs> these gimmicks or these talks or these suggestions that I give to you uh, in the prayerful pause of the pastor, if you don't do them, you're going to be in the dark. Now this one happens to have a lot of settings on it. So I've got this bright light and I don't know if you can see this but it has this thing that focuses the light. So if I'm, it's kind of like the spirit can be wide or it can be very narrow on my path and show me where I'm going. There's also a dimmer setting. Could you see that difference? Sometimes the light is not as bright as I as I want it to be and I have to up the amps a little. It's not that the light is any dimmer but it's that I'm not able to see it as clearly because I'm not aligned with it. If I want to see what this light is shining on I need to get in such a position that I can see where the light is shining. If I'm off to the side, it's not going to help me as much. My pathway is still going to be dark over here, right? I have to, I have to be in the light. And then there's the, there are times like this when it appears to me as if the light is blinking. Well, of course, we know the light of God doesn't blink. It's always steady. It's always there. But either I'm blinking, so I'm closing my eyes, or I'm turning my back, or I'm in a way that I can't discern the light. Or I'm just not totally in sync with it. And then it gives the impression that, oh, it's on again, off again, on again, off again. When no, it's not the light. It's me. So this flashlight, whether it's, you know, focused broad or focused narrow, or it's a little dimmer, or it's blinking, the light, really, when it comes to the light of God, is constant. It is I who am not positioned in such a way that I can maximize its use. If I have this flashlight in the other room and the lights go out, it doesn't help me one whit. But if I have it always with me, if I remember to turn it on, I'm led every time, and I'm kept safe. End of lesson for today. <laughs> I hope that gives you something to think about. I appreciate you carving out a few minutes to, to ponder things greater than yourself, greater than ourselves. Thanks for joining me for this prayerful pause with the pastor. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. And until next time, God bless. Take care. Get aligned with the light so that it can really do some good for your life. Bye for now. <laughs>